What is up guys? We are live here with Pro Play Games and we have a special, special time today. We got the new Naruto Boruto card game expansions, expansion three and four. So that's gonna add on to the existing one and two, which you've seen before. So now you're gonna be able to further customize your deck with some brand new characters and some brand new abilities. So we're gonna check them out today as well as opening a special tree for you at the end of the video. Hint, hint, one of the brand new tournament packs as well. We're gonna profile some of the new foiling, some of the new cards, and things that you can get if you attend a pro play tour. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, before we get started, don't forget, if you wanna play this at a competitive level, the only way to do so is at the pro play tour. We'll be in Las Vegas during December 15th. That's a Sunday, it's gonna be a one day event. And then of course, you'll be able to get invites to our $25,000 players championship happening in January. That's gonna be our national champion. Ship, you can still attend if you don't have an invite. We'll have LCQs going on Friday and Saturday all day. So our goal is to get as many people qualified so everybody can have a taste of the action on the main event Sunday of the Invitational. And of course, don't forget to buy your products on tcgplayer.com. We are a tcgplayer.com affiliate. That means you'll usually find the best prices and best deals on tcgplayer.com. So please use the affiliate link down in the description. Really helps out the channel a lot and helps us keep supporting the Chrono Clash system. Now we are going to begin with NB03, which is the Hokage set. These MSRP for about $18, so you'll find them for $18 at your local game store. Or you can contact us on Facebook, we'll give you a nice little bundle deal uh, in Spirits of Black Friday. So if you want to get these for a pretty good deal, hit us up on Facebook or email us and you'll get a pretty sweet deal. But without further ado, let's get to uh, cracking this one up. I do like... I do like the packaging on these rather than how they did it the first time. Uh, I was not a fan of the big bulky packaging, but this seems very sleek and compact for what you get. As you can see, you get your EX cards here, and you got your uh, battle card deck. So let's get to cracking this. All right, so here we go. Uh, first card, Shizun. Uh, pretty cool because we didn't get this in the first expansion. So we're going to try to focus this up right here and see if we can get through uh, profiling these brand new art and these brand new uh, symbols. This is really, really cool. So Shizun, that makes its first debut here in the card game. We got three copies. Uh, then we got Chiriku, sweet. Asuma Sarutobi, which we didn't surprisingly get in uh, any of the first two expansions, so that's a cool one to see. Izumo, so it looks like we're pretty much gonna get all these new characters that we didn't get before, so it's really, really cool. I'm not gonna go over the symbols or the effects, that's for another video, guys. Uh, Genma, Shiranui, awesome. Yeah, they did go over all the effects and some spoilers on the official Chrono Clash uh, Facebook page, so go ahead and give that a like and a view if you want to go over the effects. But today we're just going to be looking at the sweet new characters. We got Tsunade, that's another another copy of Tsunade. Oh, we got Toriwa Senju. Sweet. So I believe this is the second Hokage. Confirm, I mean, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I believe that's the second Hokage. I think he's like the water one. Sweet. And then we got Hashirama Senju. And that, I believe, is the first Hokage. That is sweet. So, yeah, as you know, this set is really focused, as you can tell by the name, on the Hokages. And we got Multi Shadow Clone Jutsu by our boy Naruto here. Naruto. We got Konohamaru, Naruto's uh, number one fan over here. Hage's grandson, I believe. Iruka Umino. Sweet, because we didn't say see an Iruka in any of the first two expansions, I believe, either. Oh, I think, actually, there might have been one. Kotetsu Hagane. Hagane. Sweet, one of the right-hand men's at the beginning of the show. Kakashi Hatake, another Kakashi. Nice. There could never be enough Kakashis here. We got Choza Akimi. Aki. Michi, Akimichi. Got Choji's dad, I believe. Shikaku Nara. Okay, we got Shikamaru's dad. Sweet. I love the uh, I love the variety here. Inoichi Yamanaka, and they put all the dads together. That's funny. Ooh, and we got the man himself. I believe this is the third Okage. Hiruzen Sarutobi. Nice. Very sweet art in his uh, battle gear, ready to go. I don't like how plain the backgrounds are sometimes, but I get it. Minato, Namikaze. 
that's the fourth Hokage, I believe. And you got uh, one piece of the uh, Chrono Gauge. So this is really built for you to buy two of them. So you can get the other piece of the Chrono Clash Gauge. And uh, as we can see here, this was a, uh, this is what, a uh, green blue deck, okay. A green blue, pretty cool combination. And then we got the EX cards for the green and the blue. So you're gonna see the same color combination here. Let's go and open this bad boy up. So we should be getting only uh, green and blue EXs here. And we'll see exactly what we get. We got the first Hokage in his ultimate form. Uh, of course, these are the EXs. So these power levels and um, effects are going to be uh, much higher than the normal power level that you normally see. Second Hokage here. Cool. Very nice. Very powerful. He doesn't. Oh, we got the Reaper Death Seal, I believe it's called, in the back. Oh man, that's really cool. It's actually going through him and everything. That's sweet. 10 power. Minato and Naruto. Nice. That is sick. Really cool. We got Naruto as the Hokage with his Rasangan. Very, very cool. All right. Ooh, and we got Kakashi as an EX card. Wow, that's awesome. That's sweet. Kakashi is... Because the first couple sets, they were like all the tailed beasts and things like that. So some of the more higher level ninjas and stuff. So let's go on to the next one. This is the second themed deck set from Chrono Clash and B04. This is the Master and Pupil set. So as you can see, the first one was really centered around the Hokages and things. Uh, this one's just gonna be, uh, I guess, uh, based on Naruto and uh, his masters, or other people's masters in the sets. As, as you can see, we got the EX deck. So this is probably gonna be covering the two colors that we haven't already, so this is probably gonna be uh, purple and red. Alrighty, so we got Tayuya. Sweet, so we got the uh, the Sound Ninja, the Sound Ninja that uh, capture Sasuke at the beginning. Uh, that's really, really cool. I do, I am a fan of these, uh, even though they're like, kind of like back characters, or side characters, whatever you wanna call them. Ooh, we got another Mitsuki, so we got a purple Mitsuki this time. There was only a red Mitsuki, but now we have a purple, sweet. Kitomaru, nice, another one of the sound ninja. Sakon, Sakon. Another one of the sound ninja as well. Pretty cool action shots. Orochimaru. Sweet. So we get a second Orochimaru card. The other one being uh, red, I believe. Jirobo, another one of the sound ninja. I like having all the sound ninja in here. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got a master here, a Hiruzen Sarutobi. This is the uh, third Hokage, I guess, in his earlier days before or at the beginning of his Hokage ness. <laughs> Kimimaru, nice, I love this guy. I was really actually excited to see this guy make his debut, and I'm glad they chose him to be in this set. Ooh, we got Sasuke, curse mark, but this is an extra card. I, th I believe this is the uh, only the second extra card that we see. There was another extra card in the first deck. Uh, pretty cool card, you got Sasuke here taking over by the curse mark, pretty cool. Ooh, we got Rin, no, Rin trying to run away here. Some spoilers in the back, Rin Nohara. So this used to be like this, uh, the Sakura of uh, Kakashi's team, essentially. Boruto Uzumaki, of course. You need to include some iteration of Boruto if you're going to have a Naruto Boruto card game. Kakashi Hatake as a youngin. Look at that. Looking like Sasuke back in the day. Sarada Uchiha. You got the, uh, the daughter of Sasuke and Sakura. Minato Namikaze, that is the fourth Hokage. Pretty cool to get him in a normal card here. And red, actually, too. So we're getting a lot of these characters in two different colors, which is great. Anko Mitarashi, so even if you're like a red player and you really love Naruto, you get a red Naruto, etc., etc. Ooh, speaking of Naruto, we got Naruto Uzumaki in, I believe, one of his Sage modes when he masters the Nine Tails. Really cool. Jiraiya. Oh, awesome. It's great to have a Jiraiya card that can probably see some play. We were pretty disappointed by the first Jiraiya that was printed. It was uh, pretty much completely useless, and this one seems like it would be better. Not too sure. Haven't read too much into the effects yet, but Sage Art, Bath of Boiling Oil. Nice. You got Jiraiya there going ham in Sage mode. 
Oh, and the other piece of the chrono gauge so that you can play one versus another. Very cool. Let's get to the X deck. Of course, this will be on theme as well, so it will be purple and red cards. I'm really excited to see what they picked here as the EX cards. Let's uh, let's go through the characters here. Kabuto Yakushi. Sweet. So Kabuto was pretty strong set one. We'll see how strong it is now. Orochimaru, man, he's in battle mode right there. Pretty cool. Sweet. Oh, nice. They did another Kimimaru card. And this one when he's going uh, when he's going ultimate, I don't know exactly what it's called, but he's got all his bones coming out. Really cool card. That is sweet. An 11 attack. That's a lot. Ooh, we got a Sasuke Uchiha looking all gangster. Very cool. Jiraiya with his little toad buddy in Sage Moon. Awesome. So we got another Jiraiya card for those that were really missing Jiraiya in the first set. We got double Jiraiya here. Naruto Uzumaki as an EX. All right, and that's it. That is it for the two expansion sets. And now let's get to the uh, special occasion. Boom, the Naruto Boruto Tournament Pack Volume 2. We're gonna do something special here, guys. We're gonna give away these promos to uh, two lucky participants down in the comments, so make sure you comment down below. I believe these bring two cards instead of one now, so we're gonna have two winners instead of normally we would only have one, so. Uh, let's see what we can crack here and like I said comment down below like the video and make sure you share it to get entered into the raffle to win one of these cards for free. Uh, think of it a little uh, Thanksgiving treat from Pro Play Games to you. All right, so we see the first card here is not an EX because normally EX cards have this nice little blue background. So we see that this one's not an EX, but oh no, we got double no EX. Unfortunate, but there are still going to be full art foil versions of cards that come in here so it's still gonna be really exciting so let's see what we get let's see the first one. Ooh, we got Genma Shiranui and look at this foiling guys look at this foiling wow they really outdid themselves this way this time very cool foiling I wouldn't be surprised for those of you who come from Dragon Ball Super to see this foiling up next on the Dragon Ball Super plate but let's see the next one here Ooh, Inoichi Yamanaka. Sweet, we got Inoichi's dad. Uh, oh, Ino's dad, sorry. <laughs> he is Inoichi. Uh, very cool, very cool. So we got these two pairs. We got a green and a blue card. So very cool. I do like the, I do like the update of having two cards per pack. I think it's gonna really boost attendance. Remember, you get these tournament packs by participating at your local game store or participating at a pro play tour. You can get these just by entering, also by winning. By winning, you can get, you can walk away with up to 20 packs if you go to a pro play tour. So really cool, really cool prizes by Bandai. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. We are excited for Chrono Clash and what it has to bring in the coming months and we hope to see everybody at las vegas if not at the pro play tour invitational in january thank you guys so much for watching the video have yourselves a happy thanksgiving and we'll catch you next time